Hi, my name is John. Welcome to another Sunday night nightcap. In tonight's nightcap, I do quite a bit more work on those taper BSP threads, and I actually get a job finished. And then once I get the job finished, I realise I'm actually going to BSP tape and die. But anyway, it could be useful in the future for taper threads that I haven't got to die for. With it being near to Christmas, I've had quite a few requests for different plasma cutouts for dogs and cats and aeroplanes, cars. And I do one cutout which is quite interesting to me because it was quite a big one. Um, probably the biggest I can cut on my table. It was a wirehead pointer, cut out a 3 mil plate. I'll show you a little bit of that. I was asked quite a while ago, in fact I was on holiday about three months ago, uh, I was at a, a wedding in Greece and one of my cousins who's a teacher at a technical college says would I be interested in coming and doing like a talk to his students about me, engineering, YouTube, that sort of thing and I said yes because I must have been on the drink and well it's actually going to happen this Wednesday, um, a local technical college uh, engineering type college uh, so I'm going to go there on Wednesday I'm not quite sure what I'm letting myself in for I've been told I'm not bad at talking so I'm just going to go and see what happens it, uh, it may lead to something you never know anyway this is a change wheel set up on the Harrison lathe I've put the transition gears in or the conversion gears in to convert the metric lathe to be able to cut an imperial thread they're the gears that do the business there that one's a 63 and that one's a 40, that's a 50, that's a 120. So now I can set the gearbox up to cut the 14 TPI thread and so I can get this tape at BSP union made. Straight good gears and they're very very noisy but they certainly do the job. When you put them together you've got to make sure you leave plenty of backlash in them. That's the way they run. I've got a piece of brass bar here and that is the thread I need to cut that's half inch BSP taper so I'm going to turn the, th the bar down to the OD of that, the maximum OD so how much we need off that so if I simply put that on there like that and zero the vernier it gives me a direct indication of what I want off there and I need 4 mil Take four mil off there and then we'll have a little bit of play with the thread cutting tool. So that's dead on size. I'll put a little lead on the front corner. This is the thread cutting tool I'm going to be using. Make sure it's on centre height, which it is. Right, I want to set the tool up to the correct angle and suit the it's not much of a taper but it is a taper and that looks to be pretty good there right right I'm going to bring the tool in until it touches off on that part of the tool which is there zero 
cross line. Put some coat on. Now once I engage this lead screw, I can't take it back out. Right, so we need combs. This is for its first cut. So to reverse the lathe. Cross side back into zero. Right plus some cut. Right in again. I don't know if I should have put a tape around the bar first, I'm not quite sure. I'll just carry on, see what happens. Gotta get that to the out of there pretty pretty sharpish. Right, one more, same setting. I'm quite impressed with that. I'll get a fitting and try screwing it in, but it's certainly put a tape and thread on. It's put quite a nice there as well. Right, that's a half inch VSP fitting. I think I should have put threads a little bit deeper. Let's see if I can pick the threads up and disengage the leaves grow unfortunately so this could be a little bit problematic but the first thing to do is to start the lathe up engage the leaves screw and then stop it and then see if we can get the tool to run in mesh properly again right so it's stopped there if I bring that in, you can see that the thread needs to come back slightly. If we loosen off the cross slide, too close like that, out of mesh, try it again, 
that's the dog's bollocks, that's absolutely spot on. Bring it back in again and set the depth of cut slightly less than full depth this time. So it's absolutely spot on. I'm picking the thread up. I think next time I will machine the tape on there. So it's starting to cut the thread deeper now. Last cut, I think. Great, so it's definitely possible to cut a BSP thread, you can see it's been hitting the thread all the way down. Nasty rag taken off the corner of there. Right, so it's definitely the tape I've made it's a nice clean thread as well. I'm really happy with that. I'm going to need to set the angle of the tool up wider than that, you can see it's not quite right, it's a little bit, it's not a million mile here, but it's not quite right. What I'll do is I'll probably machine this and put a, a stub in it, then I can put that in the chuck and put the tool in to get it nice and true. But I'm, uh, I'm happy, John's happy.